The mushroom rush is on, but there's a problem. None of people to pick them. KPI X5's Lynn Ramirez is in Gilroy, where growers say the problem isn't the pay. So, Len, what is it? Well, it may be the hard labor. It certainly isn't the pay because the people who work at this farm are all union members with full benefits, and some of the most productive pickers earn about $80,000 a year. Now, I'm going to show you this farm right here. Inside those three buildings are a million or more mushrooms growing right now, but they have to be picked, they have to be sorted, they have to be shipped. All of that is hard labor that apparently a lot of people don't want to do. So what the pickers do, they come in and they twist the mushroom. Don Hordness is one of the last of Santa Clara County's mushroom growers. Stump off. And now you have a perfect mushroom. His Delfresh farm near Gilroy produces 70,000 pounds of mushrooms a week. These darkened trays are filled with compost, peat moss, and spores that blossom into the meaty, ready-to-eat white button mushrooms that you find in the supermarket. Pop it in your mouth. Hmm? And they're beautiful, right? So they're good fresh. They're good um, on steaks. Only six growers are still producing in the South County area. Even so, mushrooms have grown into Santa Clara County's number two cash crop, far outpacing garlic. Uh, we produce about $90 million a year. But while the market is booming, the labor force is shrinking away. Right now, all of agriculture is facing a, a labor shortage. And it's not because of pay. The company's workers belong to the United Farm Workers Union. It's full-time, year-round employment with benefits, overtime, paid days off, and holidays. You know, we got people grossing like $80,000 a year over here at our farm. And even then, the farm can't keep its new hires. You know, they come here and they go, wow, they got to work 10 hours a day, and, and oh, this is hard, and, and this is heavy, and, and as I'm standing up all day. California growers are also competing against mushroom farms in Pennsylvania and Canada, where the cost of doing business is much lower. Growers wonder how long they can keep going. We're doing more jobs or odd jobs to kind of fill in. You know, I've been here, I've been packing mushrooms. Uh, on, on days that we need to. I've been outside uh, washing machines because we just, you know, don't have the people to fill the positions. And Santa Clara County's mushroom industry will have a big celebration this week, and it's called Mushroom Mardi Gras. It is in the city of Morgan Hill. There will be uh, food booths and entertainment, things like that, and you might even also be able to meet the growers and possibly take out an application if you wish. Reporting live near Gilroy, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.